Today's medical-centric topic is Vitamin E, what the science says. You've seen it on skincare labels, in supplements, and even in hair oils. But what does vitamin E actually do for your health? Is it really the antioxidant powerhouse it's hyped up to be? Let's break down what science says about this essential nutrient. What is vitamin E exactly? Vitamin E is a fat-soluble antioxidant, meaning it helps protect your cells from damage caused by free radicals, those unstable molecules linked to aging, inflammation, and chronic diseases. There are eight types of vitamin E, but alpha-tocopherol is the one your body uses most. What are the proven benefits? Antioxidant protection. Vitamin E helps protect cell membranes from oxidative stress. This matters for everything from skin health to heart function. Supports immune function. It helps regulate the immune system, especially in older adults, where deficiency is more common. Skin healing and hydration. Used topically, vitamin E can improve skin hydration and may help reduce scars or soothe sunburn, although results vary. Eye health. Some studies suggest that vitamin E, when combined with other antioxidants, may slow the progression of age-related macular degeneration, AMD. Can it really prevent disease? Here's where things get nuanced. While low vitamin E levels are linked to higher risk of heart disease, cancer, and cognitive decline, taking high-dose supplements hasn't consistently shown strong benefits in large studies. For example, heart health. Early studies were promising, but more recent research shows little to no effect from supplements. Cancer. Some studies even suggest that high doses may increase risk in certain groups, like smokers. Brain health. Research is mixed. Some benefit seen in people with Alzheimer's, but not in healthy adults. How much do you need? The recommended daily intake is about 15 milligrams, 22 IU, for adults. Most people get enough through food if they eat a balanced diet. Best food sources. Almonds and sunflower seeds. Spinach and broccoli. Avocados. Olive oil. Fortified cereals. What about supplements? If you're deficient or have fat absorption issues, like with Crohn's or cystic fibrosis, supplements may help. But for most people, more isn't better. Very high doses can interfere with blood clotting and interact with medications. Bottom line, vitamin E is essential for health, especially as an antioxidant. But unless you have a deficiency, stick to food sources first. The science supports balance over megadoses and your body will thank you for it. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.